What's up creators? It's your boy, Mad Mike. On today's episode, I just got back from picking up a 440 big block from a motorhome for the 74 Cuda project car. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned, check it out. Ew. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Ha, dare to be you. This world is just a canvas to our imagination. Turn a figment of your mind into creation. Alrighty guys, so here's the 1974 Plymouth Cuda project car that I'm working on. Just picked up the 440 big block out of an RV, a motorhome. 1979, I believe the year was. So let's go ahead, I'll show you the motor. We'll back the truck up to the shop and try to get it out of the back of the truck. Got a steering column today off the guy, rad support. This is all out of the RV, so might have to modify all that to fit. Again, with this restoration, I'm not gonna be doing a OEM like restoration back to how these cars were. I'm basically gonna be modifying the car and doing a lot of stuff that works that isn't original. Here she is. Dun 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 dun. In all of her glory, guys. 440, big block. 727 transmission. It's got the short tail shaft on it, but let's get it off and we'll have a better look at the engine and see what I got here. We'll decode it, we'll run the numbers. But yeah, she's on a skid. She's in there deep. We'll back it up, see if we can get her off. There she is, in all of her glory guys. 440 big block out of a 1979 Dodge motorhome RV. I think it was like a sportsman or something like that. I'm not too sure, it was a dually frame. The guy tore the body right out and uh, he was nice enough to pull the motor for me. Got it for a thousand bucks, engine and transmission. The gauges, I'll post a picture here, say 10,000 kilometers. I doubt that that's original. It could be 100,000, but maybe you guys that are Mopar freaks online can kind of tell me some of this identification. It doesn't look like it's ever been rebuilt. The guy says it's never been rebuilt. He had it running, um, so it's a running motor. He's, he left me, you know, I even got him to cut the exhaust pipe and leave the manifolds on. So I could do a bench start eventually here on the engine stand. But it's got the distributor, it's got the fan alternator, I got the power steering pump with it too. This is all the uh, rad support and whatnot out of the, the Dodge RV that I'm probably gonna use on the CUDA frame because I don't have a rad support right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. We'll hook up some chains to this. We'll get the engine hoist out here and hopefully I got enough room to pick this thing up and get it into the shop here. We got the Pontiac Fiero Ferrari kit car getting ready for paint. Just doing the final block sand on this. So once this is all painted, the coot is gonna be coming into the shop. But yeah, let's go ahead, hook up some chains onto the 440 Mopar big block and uh, get her off and start running the identification codes. Alrighty guys, so I got the chain all hooked up to the 440 motor. So let's go ahead, we'll grab the engine hoist, back the truck up a bit, and hopefully my jack can pick this thing up. And hopefully my hook points are in a good spot too. I'll kind of show you where I put them here. All right, so I had one spot back here on top of the head, and then got it nice and tight so I can grab it nice and low with my picker. And then I just got the front one down off the power steering pump bracket down there. So, got some grade eight hardware on there. Should be nice and good, nice and low. Let's pull the uh, picker in and see if I can lift this thing up. Well, we are going to have to do some real redneck stuff here, guys. We loaded it up into the back of the truck with a forklift and he pushed it pretty far forward. So unfortunately, my arm is fully extended right now and I don't want to pick it up like that. I got enough slack to maybe pick it up. It's gonna swing back on me. Then I'll pull my truck forward so I can hopefully get the motor closer to the back end of the tailgate. That way my engine picker 
is inside the shop on the pavement. So let's go ahead, do some redneck shit right here and see if we can swing this motor back about uh, three feet or so. Gonna have to give her a little bit of a tug. We're getting somewhere. Well, I got her to move back about a foot. So we're getting closer. Let's go ahead, shorten up that, and uh, see if we can get this back some more. We'll have to wedge this down because this is picking up the whole back end of the jack right now. It's a lot of weight. Get all my weight on the back of the jack. Alright guys, now that I got the engine to the back of the tailgate, I can back the truck up into the shop, move the cherry picker so that all four wheels are onside the concrete, then I should be able to pick up the motor and just wheel it right back in out. All right guys, we're getting somewhere. So this video is pretty much gonna be, what's up guys, I bought a 440 big block motor out of a motorhome, and I'm gonna show you guys in 20 minutes how I get it out of the back of my truck. We're making good progress though. I think uh, the cherry picker is on all four on the concrete down below. So hopefully now I can pick it up, move the arm on the cherry picker in a bit so it doesn't tip over, and uh, get it the hell out of the back of the truck. Let's see what happens. Hopefully she doesn't tip forward. Well guys, there you have it. Mopar 440 big block out of an RV, motor home motor from 1979. That was a bit of a mission to get out of the back of the truck, but uh, now that it's on the ground, let's go ahead and uh, decode it, run those numbers that are inside the block and see what it is. Well guys, we got the motor all pulled out of the back of the truck. I'm gonna show you something that kind of confused me a little bit yesterday when I pulled the motor out of the truck and I pulled the rad support out. Got a little nervous. On front of the rad support, we'll go check it out. There's the CUDA. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Go back and check out my other videos because in the last episode, I gave you guys a full breakdown on this build, where I'm at right now, where I got it from, and what we're gonna do with it. So go back, check out my other video on this car here, but this is what the 440 is gonna go into. So it's a 74 Barracuda, and uh, it's gonna need a lot of work. But over here, I picked up this rad support and rad shroud, and I thought it said 76, but it says 96 on this one, and clearly 96 on that one. And when you look at the, where is it here? Up here, it's got a date code on it, 5.2 liters, etc. And it says, uh, it says 1995 right there. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. And I was like, no way. The guy told me that this came out of that same truck. So I got all nervous that it was a 96 motorhome and they didn't come with 440s. But let's go check out the block, run the numbers, 
and uh, we'll see what we got. Got a little bit of snow last night. She's a little white out here. Glad we got the motor out yesterday so we didn't have to deal with all this snow. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, throw some lights on in here. Ah. This is the uh, Ferrari kit car project we're working on. It's getting ready for paint. So we got some pretty crazy builds on this channel, guys. So definitely make sure to subscribe and uh, check out all the other projects. Another bike I built here, kind of Harley inspired. It's actually a 95 Vulcan. And yeah, got the whole fairing, Harley saddle bags on it. I got some riser pro taper bars, Ricky Carmichael bars on it, Harley mirrors. This is a cool bike, fun, fun bike. And uh, dun, 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 here it is. Just grab a little flashlight here so you guys can see the identification markings on the motor. But here it is guys, 440, big block motor out of an RV motor home. So we'll run the identification markings on it and we'll see what we got. So looking at the motor right now, you can definitely tell that it's a big block motor. Let's go ahead and rip that off. Apparently this has a thermoquad carburetor on it and uh, maybe you guys could tell me below, there might be some identifications on the front or something that tell me if that's a thermoquad or not. Uh, needless to say, the motor has never been gone through or bored out. It's a bone stock motor. Apparently it might have 10,000 original kilometers on it, but I believe it might have a little bit more. It's hard to tell. It's got the original stampings on it. It's not too dirty. All the bolts on this are like not rusted. You don't need to use penetrating fluid for any of the hardware on this. And uh, you know, it could very well be a 10,000 kilometer motor. What else we got here? Came with the alternator, the fan, I got the power steering pump that goes here. Um, it's kind of funny, it's got these oil filled tubes and uh, oil and transmission check lines uh, that run all the way into the cabs because it wasn't a motorhome. So it'd be kind of funny to be able to fill up your oil from inside the CUDA, but we're definitely gonna get rid of these. What else can I show you? So it's got the manifolds. The guy was nice enough to cut them back. So if we wanted to fire it up, put it on an engine stand, we could, or weld on some pipes if we do use these manifolds. I've heard in, from reading some forums that if you're gonna put this into the E-body CUDA, you're gonna have to swap out these for the big block headers or the big block manifolds that come up more to clear your inner aprons. Right now on the CUDA that I have, I don't have any inner aprons. It used to be an old drag car, so it's got a flip front end. So I might build my own inner aprons and my own uh, kind of frame around the, off the, the frame rails and give clearance for these manifolds because it would be kind of cool to use these and I'll have to spend more money where we don't really need to. Um, casting numbers on the front, here we go. So we have a 9T, which is 1979, 440, big block. This is an RB block. Down here we have a Maltese cross, so I believe it's like 0.001, 913, not too sure what that's for, followed by a letter E up here. But it's a 440, and the important number is on the side of the engine. Below here we have, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. All right, so we have 466.30-440-7. So this is a 1975 to 1979 uh, block, 440 block. So above that, it's pretty tight up there with the manifolds. There you have it. So we got a 519. So that would be March, April, May, so it would be May 19th, this block was cast, and 1978. So sorry, it's not a 79, the, the car that this was in was a 1979, the motorhome, but this block is a 78 block. And there you have it. And then below that, you got your time, three o'clock, and the other number to the left here means what shift it was made on. So I don't know what shift it was made on, but around three o'clock, Going from the front to the back, it's got all the wiring, distributor, ignition system, so you know we might go ahead and use a bunch of this stuff here. Why not save that money? I just wanna run this 440 kind of Joe Dirt style in the CUDA, and then as we go along with the build, we'll start hopping it up, maybe with an MSD ignition system and some new valve covers, stuff like that. But for now, I just wanna have basically like a general mayhem style CUDA build.
It's made it up to a 727 transmission. Apparently it's got like a short tail shaft or something, so we might have to lengthen the drive shaft. It's also got the bolt up system. So um, maybe you guys can comment below, let me know if that's gonna work for me in the CUDA or if I have to swap that out. But like I mentioned before guys, if you saw my last video, I wanna put a four speed on this. I wanna do a four speed pistol grip. If I can't acquire one before I put the engine into the car, we'll run the automatic transmission, but I absolutely would love to have 440 with a four speed pistol grip shifter. That's the dream, that's what we're gonna have, that's what we're gonna do. But if we can't acquire it before I put the motor in, we'll just run it like this and, you know, mock all that up. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and you're excited to see the 440 big block out of the motorhome go into the CUDA project. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. Ah, ciao, ciao.